Hello everyone. In this video I want to tell you how to make your own power bank for charging smartphones and other gadgets, while you will be 100% sure of the capacity and quality. But also for organizing uninterruptible power supply for a Wi-Fi router, but also for backup power supply for a home smart home server. Power and operation with different voltages of 5 volts, 9 volts, and 12 volts make this power bank quite an interesting DIY device for organizing uninterruptible power supply for your devices. And the most important advantage is that you can adjust the capacity of this power bank yourself, and not buy a power bank with a capacity of 30,000 ampere hours, getting only 10,000 ampere hours. All you need is to buy high quality 18650 batteries, or use used ones. There are other advantages, which I will tell you about further. Comes in a simple bag. The case is quite durable, you should not worry about delivery, they are more likely to lose than break. But the seller gives a tracking number and the delivery is quite fast. The seller has two types of case colors, black and orange. I chose a bright color, since I plan to use it as a power bank in field conditions. And there it is better to have bright colors, so as not to lose it. The upper and lower edges are covered with transparent plastic inserts. Also an interesting solution that I liked, the internal electronic parts and installed batteries are immediately visible. To prevent scratches during transportation, a protective film is glued to the transparent parts. On the left side are the technical specifications. Inside the case, we see that the seller has put a small screwdriver and four screws and they are needed to attach the left plastic edge to the body of the device. The right edge is already fixed, and here we see two USB ports for connecting and charging your gadgets. On the left side is a Type-C port that serves both for charging the batteries installed in the Power Bank 18650, and for charging your gadgets. On the right is a micro USB port, it serves only for charging the batteries installed in the Power Bank. In the middle is the Power Bank power button. We remove the left side panel. And here we can simply remove the transparent elements of the case. In the upper part you see not only a board with electronic components, but also a small digital display, about it a little further. And on the sides there are 10 LEDs for organizing a small backup LED lighting or backlight. Another advantage of this case for homemade power bank creation is that nothing needs to be soldered. All we need to create our power bank is just not to confuse the polarity and install 18650 batteries. For this, the power bank case has a spring-loaded contact on the negative terminal and a convex contact on the positive terminal. Model, BQ, S18 PD. Maximum output power, 22.5 W. Ability to work with both 4 and 8 18650 batteries. Supports fast charging for both charging gadgets and charging installed batteries. Charging power bank via USB Type-C port with 5 volts 3 amperes, or 9 volts with 2 amperes. There is also a second port for charging power bank, micro USB with 5 volts 3 amperes, or 9 volts with 2 amperes. You can connect your smart home gadgets for charging or autonomous power supply via two USB ports. It produces 5 volts with a maximum current of 3 amperes. Voltage 9 volts with a maximum current of 2 amperes, 10 volts with a maximum current of 2 and 25 amperes, as well as 12 volts with a maximum current of 1.67 amperes. But the Type-C port can not only charge the installed batteries 18650, but also work as a port for power output. Outputs 5 volts with a maximum current of 3 amperes. Voltage 9 volts with a maximum current of 2 amperes, 10 volts with a maximum current of 2 and 25 amperes, and 12 volts with a maximum current of 1 and 67 amperes. Battery charge indicator in percent. Flashlight with 20 wide angle LEDs. Dimensions 166 by 58 millimeters. Anyone can handle the assembly. Just insert the batteries into the compartments. It is important not to confuse the polarity. I will leave links to the tested batteries in the description under the video. I am already using them, only I have them after several experiments. It is important that the battery does not have a strongly protruding positive terminal, it may not fit into the case. The power bank will work even if you insert 4 18 650 elements into it, and not 8, and with all the declared characteristics for voltage and current, the capacity will just be less. We insert the remaining 4 elements. The power bank has become noticeably heavier. But this is just a case where it is better to have heavy and high quality batteries than light ones. 
we insert transparent elements of the case from below and from above. And now we close the left side with a plastic cover. All that remains is to tighten the screws. By the way, they put in more than enough screws. Everything is ready for work, the power bank is perfectly assembled and nothing dangles, everything is fine. We turn it on with the button on the left side, and we turn on the display, which shows the current percentage of charge of the entire power bank. There is also an icon there that displays the fast charging indicator. Regardless of whether the power bank is currently giving its electricity to other devices or is charging itself, there is also a transport film on the display, do not forget to remove it. If you hold the button for more than 5 seconds, this backlight will turn on. Thanks to it, you can light your way, or use it as a backlight in camping mode to illuminate your territory or tent. Since it is ready for work, let's test it. Since a beautiful case is good, beautiful numbers, characteristics are also good, but I will not make a review without tests. Let's start with testing the charging of the batteries that are installed in the power bank itself. Here I have a fairly powerful charger that can output a voltage of 5 volts or 9 volts with a current of 3 amperes. Let's check by connecting to the micro USB port. As you can see, by default, the power bank switched the charging voltage to 9 volts, and now the current is about 1.7 amperes. Not bad and the fast charging indicator was immediately activated. But for this you need to have a high quality micro USB cable. Let's switch the voltage to the output to 5 volts. For this, I will use a 5 volt trigger. What does 5 volts and a current of 1.9 amperes look like? But I think that the micro USB port is already here as a backup or if you want to use all three ports for charging or a smart gadget at home. Let's check the capabilities of the Type-C port in terms of charging our power bank. By default, the voltage is also 9 volts, the current is about 2 amperes. Fast charge indication at home. I switched to 5 volts, and what do we see at the output is 5 volts and 2.5 amperes. I have serious suspicions that this trigger simply cannot pass a larger current. Let's check if it is possible to charge through two ports. To do this, first connect the micro USB, and then plug the charging cable into the Type-C port. No, there is no such option. The micro USB port is disconnected from the charger. Let's check the possibility of pass-through charging. This is when we connect the smartphone to the charger or smart home device to the power bank. Will it be able to simultaneously charge a gadget or supply voltage to another device and at the same time charge itself from a 220 volt network? Here I connected two loads of 1 ampere, voltage 5 volts. I connect the power supply, the power bank disconnected the load for a second and began to charge. But as you can see, it charges with a voltage of 5V, at a voltage of 9V, the charge does not increase. This is both with the connection of the charger to the micro USB port, and when connecting the cable to the Type-C port. I increase the connected load and, as we see, the output of the charging current also rose from 1.69 amperes to 3.13 amperes. In addition, if a device was connected that requires 9 or 12 volts, then in this mode of operation, the power bank will not be able to switch the voltage. The output will be 5 volts. In general, for such a budget case, this is already a very excellent result. So we figured out how to charge the power bank itself, let's move on to what it can output. To begin with, the tested type C output at maximum current. Voltage 5 volts, we begin to raise the load and as we see 3 amperes without problems, if higher, a small voltage drop begins and the device goes into protection. But it honestly gives out its 5 volts and 3 amperes. We switch the trigger to 9 volts. According to the maximum characteristic, the current is 2 amperes. Here we also see that 2 points are 4 amperes, we try to raise it higher. Above the 2 point device at 7 amperes, it went into protection. Excellent result 2.6 amperes 9 volts without problems. We switch the trigger to 12 volts. According to the maximum characteristic, the current is 1.65 amperes. Here we also see that the current is already 1.8 amperes. I'll try to repair even higher. No, there is already a voltage drop. But even so it turns out to be higher than the declared characteristics, voltage 12 volts current 1.8 amperes. Power at the same time 21.6 watts, which is even more than declared. Let's move on to testing USB ports. I will test one port since the parameters of the second port are fully defined. I check, voltage is 5 volts, we start to raise the load and as we see, 
it gives out 3 amperes without any problems. We try higher, but the voltage drops and now the device will go into protection. Just like the Type-C port, it honestly gives out its 5 volts and 3 amperes. We switch the trigger to 9 volts. According to the specifications, the maximum current is 2 amperes. Here we also see that point 2 is 4 amperes, I'll try to raise it higher. After point 2 is 7 amperes, the device goes into protection and turns off. 9 volts 2.65 amperes, an excellent result. We switch the trigger to 12 volts. And here I can achieve a maximum of 1.80 to 1.84 amperes. Also an excellent result if, according to the specifications, the maximum current is 0.165 amperes. Well, it handled the load even better than stated in the specifications, I tell you. Let's check the total load. Now the load is 2 amperes, and I will put an adjustable load in the USB Type-C port. The total load is already almost 3 amperes. The maximum total load was 3.17 amperes. To connect devices that need voltage higher than 5 volts, for example 9 and 12 volts, you need to buy a customizable voltage trigger like this. Here are 5 volts and 9 volts and 12 and even 20 volts. Link in the description. You can't just twist or solder a USB cable to the power connector, this power bank will not understand that it is necessary to switch the output voltage. You can buy ready-made power cables with built-in triggers, I will give the link in the description. Here is a simple example of how you can run a router from a power bank without problems. As you can see, the router is already working and ready to distribute the internet. Or, for example, a smart home server, which also needs 12 volts to work. As you can see, everything works fine. But there is a minus. If you connect a power bank to any other port, a device that uses 5 volts for power or charging, then the power bank will not be able to output 12 and 5 volts at the same time it will switch to 5 volts. For such an amount, I did not expect it to be otherwise. That's why I already showed you this video about step-up and step-down converters. We connect the router to the step-up converter, and from the converter to the USB port of our power bank. And everything works fine, both 5 volts and 12 volts. You can already buy ready-made cables with step-up converters from 5 to 9 volts or from 5 to 12 volts. Links in the description under the video. The conclusion will be small. You saw all the tests above. An interesting device for creating your own power bank. Moreover, with honest characteristics and even a little higher than stated. The main advantage I have already called this is to make your power bank with an honest capacity. How many milliampere hours of batteries you inserted and got. And not as they like to do now, a pig in a poke. The second advantage is a quick replacement of batteries. If you go on a hike for a long time or you just do not have electricity at home, we change the batteries to charged ones and again get a power bank ready for work. And since power bank can work with the pass-through charging function, it can be used for three smart home devices, for example, by connecting a network switch and a router via a step-up converter to USB ports, and use the Type-C port, for example, for a motion sensor or another sensor that requires constant power supply, but is a very low power device. And you can charge power bank via a micro USB port, since it also has a fast charging function. Very convenient and functional. You will find all the links to the products in the description under the video. There is also a link to a group in Telegram where you will find not only new products on the smart home system but also coupons, promotions and other communication and answers to questions. There is also a link to the smart home forum where all the topics are divided into sections for more convenient communication and information search. Please do not forget to like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss other interesting videos about smart and not so smart home systems. All the best to everyone. Peaceful skies and goodness. Bye. Bye.